Hey guys, in today's video we'll go into detail about how to make a delicious keto cheesecake. It might be gluten free and low carb, but they taste just like a regular New York cheesecake. Since we want our keto cheesecake to taste just like the real thing, we're going to use a similar method. Our crust is perfectly buttery and crumbly, with smooth and creamy filling that provides a decadent taste. This cheesecake is just as rich as its traditional counterparts, without all the unnecessary sugar and gluten. This is a very easy recipe to follow, requiring only 8 ingredients and 10 minutes to prepare. For our keto cheese crepe crust, we require 2 cups of blanched almond flour, 1 third of a cup of butter, solid then melted, 3 tablespoons of erythritol, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And for our sugar-free filling, we require 32 ounces of softened cream cheese, one and one quarter cup of powdered erythritol, three large eggs, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. In terms of instructions, you want to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. To make our keto cheesecake crust, stir the almond flour, melted butter, vanilla extract and erythritol until well mixed. Press the dough into the bottom of the pan and bake for 10 minutes before letting it cool for 10 minutes. While this is cooling, you can beat the cream cheese and sweeten it together until fluffy. Then, beat in the eggs one at a time before beating in the lemon juice and vanilla extract. Pour the filling into the pan over the crust, smoothing the top with a pastry spatula. Bake for around 50 minutes or until the center is almost set. You can then remove the cheesecake from the oven, let it cool at room temperature and then refrigerate until completely set. You're now free to enjoy your decadent keto cheesecake. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about the nutritional value of this cheesecake. It is much better than a traditional New York cheesecake, as the significantly reduced amount of sugar cuts out a lot of carbs. This recipe contains 325 calories per slice, 5 grams of net carbs and only 2 grams of sugar. Many calorie calculators can get this wrong failing to recognize that erythritol shouldn't be included in net carbs. Rounding errors are also common for cream cheese, so look to enter this as a custom item if you use something like MyFitnessPal. If this recipe isn't quite your style, there are a bunch of alternatives available. For starters, you could create the crust with almond flour or other nut flour. You could also opt for a coconut flour cheesecake crust a sugar-free crust without butter, or a crustless keto cheesecake. This recipe can also be turned into cupcakes if you'd prefer, significantly reducing the cook time. If that's something you'd like to see in the future, feel free to let me know in the comments. Overall, this keto cheesecake recipe is definitely one of my favorites. The preparation time isn't high, it's relatively nutritious, and tastes fantastic. If you'd like to see more recipes like this, I've left a link in the description to my favourite keto cookbook. This has a ton of delicious keto recipes that aren't difficult to make. You're bound to find something in there that you love. Until next time, thanks for watching.